and there's been some disappointment on their defense, specifically their run defense. But we know Josh Allen's great, and I expect Josh Allen to play but really Dion, well not, in this football but, game. But we're not judging. We're not judging his greatness, though. We're not judging this greatness. When I when I hear this question about more to prove, what I think is, are you the guy to change the narrative about the Buffalo Bills and the New England Patriots? That's what I'm thinking. We came into this conversation knowing Josh Allen was a better quarterback, more yeah. dynamic, the physical ability. We've seen him play at an MVP level. But ultimately, it, based on you, I've been around you. Remember now, I've been around you now for three years. What is the narrative behind Josh Allen and his career in Buffalo if they never get past the New England Patriots. Yeah, it was, was a failure. Right. And this is the beginning of it. This is the is beginning it? of it. He's, he's got more to prove not as an individual player. He's got more to prove to tell Buffalo, Bill's Mafia, your people, the Bill's right. Mafia, I shout out, I love y'all, <laughs> that we are here now. I love and we are not going to allow the New England Patriots to run this division for the next 10, 15 years. Yeah, but, but here's my thing. Like, if, if the Patriots go out and run for 250 yards again and Josh Allen throws for 300 yards, Josh Allen plays well. And it's just the same storyline from no three doubt. weeks ago. But I don't anticipate the Patriots pounding the rock. I, I, at least I hope the Bills, you said it yesterday, man, the up on NFL Live. Like, those boys go play well <laughs> on run defense. You see me how I censored that. Um, and I just think, like, yeah, yeah. because of – because yeah, of Christian. the style that we've seen Mac play and the expectations that have slowly risen with New England. Because we go, we, we talk about the AFC right now and we go, right, we all think it's probably the Chiefs, which is what we thought in, thought in August. Yeah. All right, who can actually be the best team to beat the Chiefs? And I think it's the Patriots and the Colts. And the question mark yeah. around the Patriots, great coaching, phenomenal offensive line, dominant run game, okay skill position players, Top five defense. How well is Mac Jones going to play in Hold those on. games? Hold on, Dan. Because I feel see, like, I wait, wait, one second, yeah, Marcus. Ahead, I feel like, ahead, I feel like yeah. you, you flipped on Mac. No. Because you were the one talking about Mac and the Patriots before everybody else. Yes. And then obviously that Bills game, that was the game plan where yeah. he threw two for three. And then you were right. I was wrong. I thought they were going to beat the Colts. And then obviously he had that rookie game. But why are you so down on Mac now, yet you were so confident earlier no, on? No, no, I'm not down on him at all. But I think there's yeah, a reality one. that we are now into December, right? The, the expectations are higher and yeah. the pressure is higher. And I love Mac, and I believe in him. But to go, who has more to prove? Because the last time they beat this team that won the division last year, it was because of everybody but Mac. Again, we know why. Mm -hmm. And then last week against a really good AFC team, he had his rookie moment, in which I had expected to come. Yeah. So I want to see, can he rebound? Again, he has not played a good game since November 28th. That's right. just the, the reality all of it. Right. I'm not down on Mac at all. I just think there's a lot of pressure because okay. we expect a lot out of him that, in New that's England That's fair, because right obviously now they have a shot to go to the Super Bowl, Correct. right? But, Marcus, who's winning this game? Who has the edge? I'm going to take Buffalo. And the reason why is because I think psychologically how they were embarrassed in that last meeting, I think they're going to fight. And I believe Josh Allen is going to play really, really well. And when you look at, when you look at division games, they hard. Like, I, I think we need to, like, emphasize that That's a true. lot. We saw the yeah. Philadelphia Eagles with a depleted Washington football team, but it still was a grind to yeah. get that win. We saw Seattle and the Los Angeles Rams. It's a grind. Dan Beautiful. knows this. I know this playing in the NFC East. We could say NFC Lease last year with the Cowboys. Some of those games were difficult, yeah. even for those teams to beat the Cowboys how depleted they were. But the bottom line is this. When we get to a point where we start talking about football at this time of the year, and we, we, we have playoff connotations in context, I'm going to give credence to the fact that Josh Allen is the quarterback for the Buffalo Bills. And Dan knows this as well as anybody. I'm so slow to deem quarterbacks being good in this league, it takes a while for me yes. to come around on guys and think about, and, and see if <laughs> like they years. really are guys that can, like years, that can lift the franchise. If, if, if not now for Josh Allen, when? Right? Mm -hmm. We think, we, like potentially we think New England is a better team, right? Yeah. All, holistically, in, in the entire roster. When does your quarterback lift you? That is the conversation we're having about Josh Allen. Dan, we, you and I say no, this I all the time fair. when we're having the conversation. 
What quarterbacks in the NFL have the ability to overcome right. when they lack right. against the team? It's got to be Josh Allen. Yeah. It's got to be this game. No. It's got to be for the division and bring your team to where y'all should be. Yeah, I, w- I would agree with a lot of what you said. I think New England wins the football game. I, th- I think them playing at home, um, the style of football that they can play, I think they're the better football team. I don't know where Buffalo has an advantage. Candidly, offensive yeah. line is better for New England. QB. Backs are better. C- quarterback is the only spot. And I'd say skill position guys, right? Skill position guys for Buffalo and quarterback. Um, I-, I think that New England can control the line of scrimmage in a more uh, dominant fashion. Yeah. I'd say this game comes down to the red zone. You know, Josh Allen has played six games against the, the New England Patriots. In his two wins, he's four for six in the red zone scoring opportunities. In the four losses, he's three for ten. So just as far as mm-hmm. scoring touchdowns versus times you get down there. And that's, gonna, that's, that's the Patriots' strength. And right now, and, and I'd also say this, like Cole Beasley not playing this game is a big deal. Because I think in the Huge. red zone, yep. like that, that is somebody that could have some success, success against New England. <laughs> I think New England wins this football game. I just don't – like, I, I'm still, I still believe that New England unapologetically is one of those teams that knows who they are. They know how yeah. they're going to go about beating the Buffalo Bills, where I think Buffalo still, and it shocks me, offensively is still trying to figure itself out a little bit in, in games. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.